So nursing schools nowadays organize exams for their nursing applicants. And in the last video on aptitude tests, I spoke about the type of aptitude tests that you might encounter in your nursing interview. And so in today's video, we are going to talk about one of the aptitude tests, which is verbal reasoning test and the shape and form it will take in your nursing interview exams. So if you are interested, let's get right into it. From the previous video, we learned that verbal reasoning test is looking at how you communicate your speech, how you interpret information and how you respond to information. It's trying to look at you to see if you are a good communicator, to see your uh, communication skills. Okay, so during your nursing interview, if the school will be organizing exams, then it will come, the verbal reasoning test will be done in a way of you writing an essay so they might ask you to write an essay in your interview exams they might ask you to write a letter you know the essays we were writing when we were in SHS that those kinds of essays so they might ask you to write a letter talk about yourself or you know describe something your first day at school can you describe your experience you know essay for example, my niece went for two interviews last year and for one of the interviews she was asked to write an essay on why she wanted to become a nurse or why she chose the general nursing program and then the other school she was given a phrase once beaten twice shy and so she was asked to write a story ending with once beaten twice shy. So things like that you can expect in your nursing interview exams. You may also be asked simple English questions. So the exam itself is general they ask general questions in the exams okay they just want to see how good you are with english because core english is one of the important requirements you have to get before you can apply for nursing so in the exams they want to look at you generally can you really speak and write english you know so essay yes you might be asked questions on synonyms and antonyms synonyms are words that are similar in meaning and antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning so these questions can take the shape of them listing a group of words you know a group of words here a b c d or one two three and a group of words here and asking you to match them match the ones that are opposite in meaning or similar in meaning So you can be asked synonyms and antonyms. You can also be asked to interpret idiomatic expressions. Idiomatic expressions are where sentences that have other meanings. For example, when they say once in a blue moon, what does it mean? They say something is a piece of cake. What does it mean? So with idiomatic expressions, you find the meaning of what the phrase is referring to. Like once in a blue moon means something that happens rarely or occasionally or infrequently. That is once in a blue moon. A piece of cake is something that is easy very easy for example oh, the interview exam was a piece of cake another example is let the cat out of the bag let the cat out of the bag it means to accidentally reveal a secret that you are not supposed to reveal one assignment i'll give you let me know in the comment section if someone says the elephant in the room what does it mean let give me your answer in the comment section okay the elephant in the room what does it mean Leave your answer in the comment sections and let's see. And if you also know some of the idiomatic expressions, let's have them in the comment section, okay? So that you guys can learn from each other, okay? All right. So aside idiomatic expressions, you can also be asked to complete the sentence or finish the statement. You know, in English, we have common sayings that uh, we use. So you, you might be given a portion of that statement and you'll be asked to finish it. An example would be, action speaks louder than words so they can give you action speaks then you complete with louder than words or da 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 speaks louder than words and you know that you have to put action there another example could be a journey of a thousand miles da 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 what is the end a journey of a thousand miles a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step or begins with one step any of them is correct da 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 is next to godliness so what is next to godliness what is next to godliness? So cleanliness is next to godliness. So this one's you if they so this one they can give you options. They may give you options. So uh dot 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 is next to godliness, then A, cleanliness, B, whatsoever next, then you you choose the appropriate answer to complete the statement. The higher you go, dot dot, dot the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. Okay, complete the statement. 
one assignment for you. People who live in glass houses, da da da. Complete the sentence in the comment section. Let's see those who get it correct. So those are some of the examples that uh, you might meet in your nursing school exams. If you've written an exam during your last interview, if you've applied for school last year and you read and you wrote some exam, list in the comment section some of the questions you had encountered. That is if you remember some of the questions you've encountered. And let's see. So that is if you write an exam. But when you're seated in front of the interviewers, the verbal reasoning test takes a different form. You'll be assessed whilst you are talking and answering their questions. Tell us about yourself. Oh, my name is this. I come from here. Da, 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 da. So they are looking at the way you form your answer, the way you express your answers, the way you talk confidently. Are you speaking clearly? Is the did you understand the question? Because maybe I have some questions about something, and because you didn't understand, you are who the left or most the right, you know. So understanding of the question, interpreting the question, and answering correctly or expressing yourself well so they are looking at the way you talk the way you compose yourself you know sometimes when you are talking uh, like you can see how i'm moving my hands here and there yeah people look at that and if you are someone who is always talking with your left you know in our culture we don't really accept using your left because we regard the left to be some way you know you see when you are talking you're always using your left to uh, so this and that they are looking at all of that so if you're someone who likes talking with your left a lot, then start learning to control it now so that in your interview, you don't use your left more, okay? That is how they will assess you in the interview room itself on your verbal. That is how they will assess your verbal reasoning in the interview room. So yes, that is verbal reasoning test. I don't to mush verbal reasoning and numerical reasoning, but I feel like it will be too long. So I'll do the numerical or the mathematical aspect in another video, in the next video, so that you can watch that to also guide you, okay? In this video, I talked about the aptitude test, what it is, and the, uh, the type of aptitude test that is carried out in the nursing interview. If you, So you can click on it and watch, but if you've already seen that, then click on this video next. But when I do the numerical reasoning test, I'll link it here to replace this video here. So you can click here and watch. Until then, my name is Selassie. I'm a registered nurse here in Ghana, and I wish you all the best in your nursing interview. Bye.